Rajasthan in India is home to some of the poorest farmers in the world. In the west, the Thar Desert is expanding fast. Under a scorching sun, the farmers blame their gods for the monsoon that fails them year after year, causing their crops to dwindle. And yet, despite the hardships, the sun has now also become a blessing for the farmers of Legga. Their village has been electrified by solar power and clean energy has provided a way out of the darkness. Every family has a solar panel that charges an electric lamp. The lamp gives about four hours of light and can also be used to charge a mobile phone. It makes the lives of the farmers a little easier. Legga and hundreds of other poor rural villages in Asia and Africa have been electrified by village women trained as barefoot solar engineers. These women can give fresh hope to the more than one and a half billion rural poor worldwide who live without electricity. The women first provide electricity for their home village, then they move on to neighboring villages, house after house, kilowatt after kilowatt. The Barefoot College in Rajasthan believes everyone has a right to electricity. To this end, they educate poor rural women to install, maintain and repair solar panels that charge a lamp. The teachers at the Barefoot College are themselves villagers who were trained as barefoot engineers. As few share the same language, they teach the village women from Bhutan, Malawi and Ethiopia using hand signs and demonstration. Bunker Roy, the founder of the Barefoot College, is confident the women will do well when they return to their villages. Also because they are women. The college gave up training men many years ago. Men had a tendency to leave the village after the training and try to get a job in a city instead of supporting their village. Men are untrainable. Men are restless. Men are impatient. Men have been conditioned differently. And all the men want certificates. Women have a completely different orientation. They are not interested in certificates. They are grounded in the village. They don't want to leave. They don't want to migrate. They want to stay close to the land, close to the husband, close to the children, close to the animals. So for me, it's a win-win situation to train only women and not men. And for me, the older the woman, the better and more stable. 
It is not enough to be a woman from a remote village to become a solar engineer trained by the Barefoot College. The selection criteria are very strict. Has to be illiterate, has to be a mother or a grandmother, has to be born in a village, never left her village in her life, and maybe um, have some exposure outside the village. That takes a long time to convince people, especially the men. Because the men always feel that they should get the first priority. They should be selected first before the women. The lives of the women who return to their villages as barefoot solar engineers are changed forever. They come to Tilonia to the Barefoot College as women and they go back as tigers. They have so much confidence, so much confidence they show meeting equally with men and women in their village, showing that they have a skill that no one else has and they are proud of it. The whole man-women relationship in a village changes totally because the woman has come back a new woman. She's come back a leader. For 38 years, the Barefoot College has worked to improve the quality of life of the poorest of the poor. Its philosophy is to give the poor the possibility to take control of the technology that can help them and firmly place the future in their own hands. Besides working on the solar electrification of remote villages in Asia and Africa, the college is developing large solar cookers made in part from bicycles. The solar cookers are still quite expensive and it's hard to persuade village women to use the solar cookers instead. Rainwater harvesting is another important skill that the college teaches its barefoot engineers. Every drop of water counts in the drought-prone desert of Rajasthan. The college has also provided 870 remote schools in India with solar power. Many children in rural areas have to help their parents make ends meet during the day and so solar-powered night schools give these children the opportunity to study.